Howdy and hello, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. We are playing the single player once again, and it is Halloween. It's actually a Wednesday, but they just recently updated the Ark to have really cool Halloween type stuff and things. There's a scarecrow with a jack o' lantern on it. Very cool. You can actually grab this uh, scarecrow uh, and some pumpkins and stuff. I'm encumbered. Apparently, the pumpkins are quite heavy. Oh, you know what this means? They updated it, so all my settings are wrong. <laughs> all right, hold on. Let me fix that. All right, welcome back. That should be everything. So, um, gosh, I'm so heavy. <clears throat> so what's the deal here? So I actually didn't take the time to read all the notes because I wanted to just kind of walk into some surprises, to be honest, uh, just to kind of see what crazy stuff they put in. So pumpkins are a thing. Decorate your base with pumpkins. Can be carved with all manner of paints. Um, and scarecrows decorate your base. Oh, okay, so it's decorations. That's cool. Um, so yeah, so we will put this on the Quetzal here. Uh, there's a pumpkin patch. If you haven't met the Quetzal, this is Quetzal. <laughs> I haven't named it. God, these things are huge. Um, but yes, we have uh, actually made a lot of progress in uh, single player arc. I've been able to play very like off and on, but very small quantities, like 10 minutes here and there. And so I have, that's why I haven't made an episode. Um, just craziness with life and stuff. So, oh my gosh, what? This has been happening. There's imaginary trees. Um, it's really in this area too. Oh, speaking of trees, look, they made the trees all fall, uh, fall colors, which is really, really nice. Oh yeah, so let's put the pumpkins and the thing on the thing, and then let's, um, let me show you real quick. So, let's so find this imaginary tree. Oh, sorry. Um, my bad. Well, we'll call it invisible tree. I don't know, they're, they're around, and like, they've caught- Look, there's one right there too. Do you see me bump? What? Okay, I don't know. Is it you? Are you mad? Anyway, the point is that this area is riddled with uh, invisible trees and they've caused me so many problems when it comes to building like right here I'm stuck on one um, I was like building up my base really really high and out and then I kept running in these invisible trees and they were preventing me from uh, from building anywhere so it was, it's been a real pain in my butt <clears throat> so what did I do you've probably noticed the place looks a little different I went ahead and built a boatload of stone behemoth gates and the reason is I think I have water on me okay the reason is I wanted an area for my critters to wander around and just be free kind of like my my other base has that whole thing so I actually it took a lot a lot of resources but I went ahead and saved up and built like a million of these stone behemoth gates um, using these guys I have like three of them now and you can see that on passive they just go around and harvest and they've been collecting thousands of stone for me uh, without me even having to do anything which is fantastic but yes, atop the tower here. Oh yeah, you haven't really seen much of the base. There's an invisible uh, tree right there. God, that's annoying. I, I think you have to reset the arc to get rid of those. So I have built, as my usual style, a vault. Uh, don't have anything in it yet, I just built it. So let's just start putting in some um, some of the more, you know, important harvesting things. Wow, I have a lot of flint. Um, that should be fine, okay. And yeah, what I've done is build out some of the walls here for protection. I have the fabricator down here with some stuff in it. I set up a bookshelf with my recipes. This is for uh, storing gasoline to power the fabricator. We have a preserving bin for our eggs. Uh, these are unfertilized eggs. I'm going to be trying to make kibble. Um, feeding stuff. Oh my gosh. A bunch of uh, rotten meat and, and in this usual crafting area that I have been using um, to smelt metal, to make, um, whatchamacallit, um, gasoline. And so, yeah, and here's all my stuff that I've been collecting. That's like tools, this is like saddles, um, building supplies, and then I think raw materials here. No, raw materials should go here. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, so the castle's gotten a pretty pretty good. I've got some pretty, uh, some like stone pillars stabilizing some of the far walls, uh, kind of the, yeah, this is where I built out this whole thing over here, and then there turned out to be um, an invisible tree right here. Look, I just, I just chopped it and got wood. And it's still there, that's the thing. So like I harvested it and I was like, oh, it went away. Nope, it's still there and it's a collision item. So I'm not able to build on it. So it caused all sorts of problems for me. So anyway, there's a ladder that goes up here. And here we have our atrium. Is that the right? I don't know, I figured this out. Aviary, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, aviary and atrium, those are the two words. So yes, there's four like entrances things on the four different corners so I can get in and out. There's a walkway that goes all the way around. Of course, there's the uh, dinosaur gate so I can get in and out uh, with the birds. Oh, hello, there's an egg. Are you fertilized? You're not. We all mate. I think the birds mate now. I think everything mates now for the most part. I'm so behind. But you can see the cool thing that I love to do is that the vault here sticks up through um, through the floor. So I can land with my birds with a full load of stuff and then just uh, pile it into the vault. And why is it not? There you go. I had it. I don't know why. It's working. Whatever. It works. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can see I built half wood, half thatch just for the way it looks. I think it looks kind of nice. Am I hungry now? Goodness. My character can't even let me finish talking. Um, so yeah, so that's the atrium or the aviary goes all the way around here as well and then you go up to the next level and this is where we have the storage tank for the Quetzal so there's two ladders that go two ladders that go up and down here whoops somebody take some damage right there 
Oh yeah, I did finally turn off uh, God Mode, so I will take fall damage. And because the Quetzal's so huge, it needed its own room. It does fit in here, and then these um, Behemoth Gates are used to encapsulate it, so... Let's be a little more careful this time. Oops, down. And should we grab a bird? Nah, we're gonna grab the Quetzal. Quetzal's just too darn good. You just can't get around it. Let's see if I can... Oh, almost didn't make it. Okay. So the Quetzal has uh, stuff. We'll let it hold the egg for a second. Alright, so I wonder if the Quetzals breed. Now that I don't know, and I don't have a second one. Um, I know that T-Rexes probably do. I want to say uh, I have a Mammoth here. Oh, I thought I was getting an egg for a second. Um, yeah, I have two T-Rexes, a Spino, a bunch of these guys. A bunch of stuff. I did get a Frog for making cementing paste. And I did pretty well with it. You can see I've made a lot. But um, I ended it out because I was going to do um, Metal Behemoth Gates all the way around. But um, the cementing paste was such a pain to deal with, so I ended up just opting for stone because the uh, I wish the frogs would passively harvest because there's bugs around, you know, um, that they would just kind of hop around and passively harvest cementing paste. That would be really, really nice. I think the snail or something like that is going to be the passive uh, cementing paste producer. But uh, for now, I don't have that luxury, so I went with stone since uh, since that is a passive production. I do have a fair amount of wolves at this point. I have, um, I want to say like 10 or so. A couple of them are pretty good. Um, but yeah, my stuff is still kind of everywhere. But anyway, this is the place. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for joining me. I hope you're uh, having a great week. I hope everyone has really cool Halloween plans. See, another invisible tree right there. I just bumped into it. Oh, so aggravating. I don't know what causes that or how to fix it, but um, it's really, really a problem. Got a Giganto, Saber, Dire Wolf. I'm trying to find my good Dire Wolf. I have a really good Dire Wolf. I think, it was, I think it was actually 120 tame. But anyway, so as you can see, I have set up Behemoth Gates in a complete 360 degree encapsulation all well there's a little bit of a break here but i don't think anything will get in and even if it does it's no big deal but i have claimed the waterfall a little bit of the river a little bit of the river up here just a touch of the snow biome just so i have some in my kind of area let's see if that thing's any good nope um and then i go over here through the forest i've got a bunch of trees and rocks in the forest to harvest that are mine and then of course the plains i have a fair amount of plains actually i captured a couple of the uh the uh, parasers uh, a packy there yeah, so for stone and things like that. Now, I didn't go all the way up the mountain and get uh, metal in my little area, so I do have to leave for metal, but I've um, that goes all the way around like you saw. But I have this nice metal base that I've kind of been working on as well. It's um, not metal base, but metal harvesting area. It's over here. <clears throat> it's nothing too fancy, uh, but I've got, I think, let's see, I've got, see, I just hit another invisible thing. Oh, there's always Rexes right here, and they're coming after my, they come after my, um, my Ankylios. Yeah, this should be no problem. Oh, I've got the Quetzal leveled up for attack now, and it, it does a lot of damage. I mean, that was only a level 8, so it wasn't that big of a challenge, but, uh, where am I at now? 508%. Uh, that's pretty darn good. I haven't had a Quetzal that's that powerful yet in any other, uh, game. Alright, so the Enclio here, one of the Enclios has a saddle. There's another one, uh, and I use them to harvest the metal... Where is he? I don't know. Oh, he's probably at the, at the base. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I walk him around and go get, uh, metal... Just checking stuff out. It does look a little different, I have to say. Like, obviously the trees are different, but even the little bushes, I want to say, look a little different. Yeah, there's, like, orange. There's more orange stuff. Orange flowers. I don't remember those. But, yeah, I have some Dodicarus, uh, D Dodicari, or whatever the plural is there. Uh, D D Dodicarus, uh, he's kind of watchguarding the whole operation here. Hmm, I guess you got some kills, did you? Wow, I guess you got a lot of kills. Okay. Did not realize. Um, you've been busy. Cool. Um, what? See, another invisible thing. What is that? What is right here? Another tree. That's really annoying. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to fix it. Like I said, I think this used to happen to me, and I think the only way I could fix it was to actually reset the entire arc, which would kill all my buildings and and just everything. So I don't really want to do that. But um, yeah, so then I've got uh, this nice. Um, I think it's a five. Yeah, nice walled-in area, so things shouldn't really damage this stuff. I have a couple of the. Uh oh. Uh oh, saber. Uh, should be able to take care of it. Oh god, you got it. Dang it! You suck, mate! You just killed my campfire! Uh What? Okay, whatever. This area did work the last time I was here. Oh, now I can't get this critter out. Oh, I can Quetzal it out. You can always Quetzal it out. You need to always follow me, man. I don't want you flying off like a freaking Pteranodons do. Uh, are you just a giant, lousy Pteranodon? Is that what you are? No, you're a Quetzal. Come on, don't be a big Pteranodon. Yes! So anyway, it's a stone base. You can get in and out uh, fairly easily. You can quetzal things. <laughs> Dumbo drop them. And most importantly, you can cook metal. So it's a thing. Now, what I have been working on most recently, and I believe I have I honestly haven't explored the Ark uh, since they've done the whole pumpkin deal. 
I think they might have like zombie creatures in, like a zombie raptor or something, or I think they put the T-Rex Dodo hybrid in. I don't know. Like I said, I barely even looked at the update while I was while I was updating. I just wanted to get in the game and kind of catch up to where I've been. So what I have been doing is I came over here. I need an area for oil. Um, since I'm starting to make gasoline, I needed to have a lot of oil production. And if you look down there in the snow biome, especially right here on the coastline, there are loads of oil. Um, however, lots of alligators spawn here and other things. So this is a really cool spot. It's just kind of this lagoon type area. There's a lot of piranhas in it typically, but there again is a waterfall. I really like the waterfall quite pretty but what I've started to build here and I've only just begun is a little holding tank for some for kind of a secondary base and so you can wow they put pumpkins right on my base so you can see I have an Ankleo and a Dodicarus for harvesting stone and metal and flint and all that fun stuff oh the moon dang we missed it it was a bright orange moon oh you know what I wonder if the skeleton and the crazy stuff only comes out at night I bet that's the case I might have to change the uh, day night the whole day night dynamic thing uh, I think that's what we... Wow, that's pretty bright. Oh, well, we'll go with it. So, yeah. So, anyway, I can come over here and harvest... Um, harvest for oil. And it's a thing. what I get? Got the scorpion. What level are you, buddy? Can't see. What level are you? Is my thing? Huh? Hmm. Um, I don't know. Can't tell. Well, he's going out to sea. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I don't really have a game plan for this, uh, for this gameplay. I just kind of wanted to show off what I had been doing. Oh, wow, they're... They sink? Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, I know the scorpions can swim. There are loads of pearls over here. Look at the, look at all those. I had no idea. Um, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of unfortunate how they've done the whole... The whole thing with, um, oil and pearls being right up on the coastline here. Because, uh, again, it kind of negates it's the whole reason to go into the deep ocean. And although I hate the deep ocean... It's essentially a whole nother biome. I mean, it's a whole nother thing that uh, that I really have no reason to go to anymore. Now, I do know that they've added the Mosasaur. I've yet to tame one. I don't think I'm equipped for that at the moment. In fact, oh god. Away, away. Okay, good, thank you, Clutson. Uh, I forgot about those things. They are everywhere. Um, yeah, we should be good. Yeah, I don't think I have my um, Tranquil. I, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not in a taming outfit right now. I'm in a, a building outfit is what I've been doing, actually. Okay, really? Thank you. All right, so um, so yes, somewhere in the deep, deep, deep is the mighty Mosasaur. I haven't even seen it. Um, I think that might be a shark. What is that down there? Oh, oh it went away. Okay. Well, anyway, um, so that's going to be something that we'll work on, getting a Mosasaur, just for fun. I'm actually do that now. So what I'm going to do is go back to base, change my outfit. I'm currently in um, cold weather stuff. Change my outfit and grab my crossbow, and I think we're going to explore the water. Ooh, a couple Rexes. See what we can do about the Mosasaur. If nothing else, I just want to get a look at it. Those are pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, I just want to get a look at it and um, and that sort of thing. So, see you in a second. Uh, why isn't this pausing? Hello. Pause. Did the pause button change? Huh, hold on. Oops, sorry. Uh, let's see. Pause. Where's the thing? Action. How do I pause? Insert. Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I wasn't working earlier. See you in a second. All right, so welcome back. It turns out we need a lot more than what I thought. So I'd like to build a, a set of scuba. Um, oh, that's right, there's no obsidian on this hill. Ugh, this hill has lots of metal, but does not have obsidian. Um, anyway, I want to build a set of scuba. Uh, I think there's obsidian on the ice, but I'm gonna go up here to the volcano instead. Um, anyway, I, I want to build a scuba set so I can hang out underwater for a while and try to get the Mosasaur that way. And um, the other thing I'd like to do... Oh yeah, so in order to get that I had to harvest a bunch of crystal, um, hide, what else? Uh, silica pearls and... Oops, sorry. And um, silica pearls... Uh, da, 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 what's missing? Um, obsidian. Oh, polymer. Yeah. So I ran out of uh, I ran out of obsidian, which is what you need for uh, what you need to make polymer. So just wanted to catch you up so that not too much stuff happened. It's been like 10, 20 minutes uh, since I paused. That's the thing about this game is you run into these uh, these little stop signs as far as like you needing resources, and then you just end up spending your time harvesting. Um, this looks pretty safe, and I see plenty of obsidian. So we're gonna go for it. Um, yeah. I mean, it'd be great to have. I guess I could have actually grabbed um, grabbed the. There's some more obsidian over here. Oh, okay. Uh, I could have actually grabbed the, um... Uh, really? The whatchamacallit? The Ankleo to grab this. Uh, probably would have got more per node, but, um... 
I didn't really want to do that. Okay. I gotta worry about fall damage now, so be a little bit careful. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm gonna harvest some obsidian. Whatever. I'm not worried about those. I'll just go get this, this one that's really easy. And make some polymer, and then we'll make scuba, and then we will head to the water. Let me get a little bit of crystal as well, because we're running low. Oh, nighttime. Where's the moon? The dodo rex has appeared. Ooh. The dodo rex is no more. Oh, so it's only at night. I wonder if it's tameable. I bet you when you kill it, you get a cool trophy. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to change the night cycle so we can do that here in just a little bit. Um, how much obsidian did I get? 86. Mm, it's not great, but uh, should be enough, I think. All right, so let's head, let's head back. Oh man, it's like it's so tiring just doing these little. What is that red? Is that an alpha raptor? Really? Get your freaking head out of the way. Tell me you saw that glowing redness. Um, okay, I'll just have to. Was it just a graphics glitch? Hmm. Oh well, it must have just been a graphics thing. Meh. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna pause again and sort this out, and then um, I'll unpause so you can see me make scuba. I don't remember if that's something I've ever done. I don't think so, but, uh, but yeah, we'll do that together as well. So see you in a second. And we're back, and we're gonna go ahead and craft up the polymer. Of course, it's raining. Ooh, it's raining. Um, there we go. Refill our tank there. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna craft up. Excuse me. We're gonna craft up the polymer. Perfect. All right. So how much can I make actually? Before I turn this on, I want to make sure I can make everything. Um, doesn't tell me. Okay, whatever. I've got plenty of gasoline, so I don't know why I'm being stingy about it. Let's give it one. Let's turn it on. Let's see how much polymer. I can make 43, and I need 40. So, um, I guess I'll just click through here. I need... Yeah, I should do it right there. So, that's that. Um, that'll be enough polymer. I should be able to make some of the other stuff, so let's take a look. Scuba, I went ahead and bought the engrams. I definitely want the flippers. I definitely need the oxygen tank and that, and then polymer. Yeah, okay, so I just need the polymer for the uh, leggings there. Um, which, the leggings actually just grant you um, hypothermic insulation. You'll see it's uh, 200, so the first stuff gives you 65. So actually these are much better um, hypothermic insulation, but it says specifically when underwater, so I'm, imag I'm imagining that you couldn't take these leggings into the snow biome and use them to protect against uh, snow. But anyway, so we've got our flippers. Uh, I do believe the flippers slow you down when you're walking, so we'll wait to put those on. Have our oxygen tank. Um, and then polymer. What's up with the polymer? Oh, did I not make enough? <laughs> Whoops. It's like I shorted myself by three. <coughs> Excuse me, the uh, allergies are really bad. Okay, there's the leggings. Perfect. All right, so we can turn that off. Okay, so we have our scuba gear. We have uh, a fair amount of arrows. We have um, about a little bit less than, we have like 80. Should be enough. And um, we're gonna go now hunt down the Mosasaur if we can. Oh, you know what? Of course, you always need one more thing. Um, I would like to get a, um, not Plesiosaur, what's the thing? Um, the dolphin, Icky. I'd like to get an Icky saddle so I can train one real quick and um, and ride that around underwater. Let's see where my saddles. No icky saddle. Okay, let's see what it takes to make an icky saddle. And if I even have it learned. Doesn't look like it. Okay. <laughs> I've had to restart so many times. There it is right there. It's hard for me to remember what all I've got. Um, I need everything. Okay, so hide, fiber, wood, metal, flint. I might actually have all those things. Um, let's see. There's flint. There's wood. Um, fiber, I think is here. Yeah, fiber. How much fiber? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Fiber's light. A little bit of metal. Oh no, I need more metal. I have more metal in here, just raw metal for <clears throat> for random whatever. I probably need some katan. What's left? Wood and hide. Okay. Hide. What? Oops. Um, oops. Oops. Uh, you can do T now. T is to transfer that whole stack, which is really cool. Nice. All right, so I got the icky saddle. Uh, really, really nice. And let's go ahead and put any spare materials back. I won't be using, and that should just about do it. Um, I do need some of this, probably. Actually, do I? I don't even know. I was gonna say for taming, but um, what? The narco berries? Oh well, whatever. What did I have? I had a bunch of narco berries. What did I do with the narco? Oh, did I put them in here? No, I wouldn't have put them in here. Did I cook all of them? I guess I did. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the thing. All right, so that's still doing its thing. Uh, we've got, what, about 40 left. Yeah, we've got plenty. All right, so let's head on out and go get an Icky and then go get a Mosasaur. So I'm gonna fly to the ocean and I will see you in a moment. 
Whoa, real quick. I just saw um, a graveyard. Check this out. Well, a couple things. This is where the pen was, where I kept the Ankleo and uh, Dodicarus, and it's gone. So that's really irritating. I don't know why that's the case. But it is. <laughs> so, oh well. Yeah, the arc's been really glitchy. I think because they've just been changing so much and adding things. Maybe that just happens. I don't know. I haven't heard of other people having that problem. But, um, wow, look at this. This is super cool. Um, a graveyard. Is that a snip? Oh, God. Are you stuck? <laughs> oh, 96. I don't really want to waste arrows, but I kind of do. Oh, no. What is that? Is that my thing? Okay, no. Um, okay. Let's see if I can just punch it out. Okay, I'm taking damage. Should be close here. I'm just afraid if I hit it again with an arrow, it's gonna die. Hmm. Dang it, really? Oh well, whatever. Stupid thing. Alright, so, um, yeah, I don't know what happened to my stuff. Was, oh wait, it's over here. Oh, okay. I knew it was on a pumpkin patch. There's a pumpkin patch over. So anyway, there's graveyards now, apparently, which is really cool. Oh, there's a T-Rex just making his way to my stuff, of course. Just coming on over. Oh, that's not good. Um, um, um. That was weird. I made a little puff of smoke as if one of my buildings died. I don't think I had a building on this thing. T-Rex is down. That's good. Okay, so let's land. And let's just... Oh, there's another T-Rex right there. Gosh darn it. Uh, can't get anything done. Ooh, 88. Alright, don't get distracted. Uh, let's see if we can find a dolphin real quick. Sometimes they're in this little thing. It doesn't look like it though. Um, okay, no problem. There should be one out here somewhere, maybe. I see the gator. Oh, there's a dolphin. Okay. Oh, there's a rex. Okay. <laughs> God, these rexes are everywhere. Uh, 76. That is pretty good, actually. Alright, so can you land on this? That would be really cool. There's some dolphins. Oh, yes. Perfect. So I don't have to worry about the Rex is really coming over here. Uh, let's make sure it's not following me, and it is on. Oh, it leveled up. Um, okay, do I have everything I need? I've got the saddle, I've got the drugs, I've got... So let me get some more meat. That should be it. That should be everything... <coughs> excuse me, everything I need right there. I think I've been going for movement speed with the Quetzal, because I've lately been using it for, like, all locomotion. Oh, man, there's a shark. Okay. There's a thing. Okay, okay, okay. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Um, let's just... Let's just get in there. Woohoo! Oh, that shark's coming. He sure is. He sure bloody is. Okay. Well, we can get where he can't get us. As long as the Quetzal doesn't freak out on me, I'll be fine. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm wearing fur. Oop. 36. I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright. Uh, there we go. We're gonna call you, um... Keeper of the Mosasaur. I don't actually know how to spell Mosasaur. Keeper of Moses. We'll call them Moses. Moses. <clears throat> Probably a lot of people name their Moses or Moses. But I don't really care. Costume. Oh, you can do costumes. Oh. Okay. How do I? Um, oh, you probably have to kill the Dodo Rex or something to get a costume. I don't know. I honestly don't know. All right, so I've got that. Oh, it makes the mask makes you like really hard to see. Oh, hands. Ready for hands? I guess nothing. And I put on a tank. Uh, no, because that's right. Oh, I don't like how limiting the view is. Oh, well. It indicated that the mask was mandatory for breathing. Um, it looks pretty slick, I have to say. Breathing underwater, so, you know what, let's just move on. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there is a shark right here. There's another... Oh, okay, let's get out of here. Let's start by killing, um, maybe another Icky, and that'll level us up a bit. I don't want to take on a shark at this point with a level 36 Icky. It's just not powerful enough to really do it. There we go. Alright, so that should put me in a good spot to level. Let me get away for a minute. Sometimes I level up with fish, but you have to kill a bunch of them. So let's go for some stamina. Definitely some health. Oh, that's it. Okay. I uh, should have done melee damage. Whoops. <laughs> now I need to kill something else. Uh, anyway, so we're going to level up the Icky. Make sure it's a little bit tougher while we're down there, and then we'll go hunting. Oh, I'm already getting, like, super uneasy. The mask is making it worse, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, a Sarko. I can take out a Sarko. Should be able to. They don't turn all that well, so I should just be able to nip its tail and it won't even really bother me. Got him. Nice. That should be prime meat. Nice. 
Cool. Or I could just leave that and let the sharks come after it, because uh, I think if you leave bodies, it attracts the sharks. All right, anyway, um, yeah, let's get some melee damage coming. And we'll have to kill maybe a couple more things. Should be able to take out a shark now that we're up to, yeah, 415. Should be able to take out a shark. All right, so we're heading down in the depths. I really hate this mask. Uh, but let's keep our eyes out for the mighty Mosasaur. Possibly a Plesiosaur, which we have yet to tame as well. What do we got? Are you a shark? You are a shark. Uh, what level are you, Mr. Shark? Did they make them faster? No, I guess not. <clears throat> I'm just going to be looking around. I see a dolphin. Man, it's really hard to see down here. Like, it's super hard to see. Okay, that looks like it's the edge of the map. So let me go up. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't have to go up for air, do I? Oh, no. I'm in, like, limbo land. What's going on? There we go. Oh, shark. Hello. Please, he's not very fast. Oh, please, Icky. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, plesiosaur. Another plesiosaur. Whoa, are you coming for me? Wow, they're aggressive. What? I thought you had to hit them before they attack you. Oh my god, they're coming. Do they not have the ceiling thing anymore? They're coming. Oh, wow. Okay. So apparently they'll... Will they surface? No. Okay. Not quite. Man, this thing keeps getting stuck. Oh, that is so creepy down there. Um, okay. Oh, it's night. I can't use my, my, my scope. So, um, I guess I could quickly go down and see its level, and it is... It doesn't... Uh, 36, it looks like. Oh, I took a hit. Okay. Let me get into first-person mode. It's usually easier to check level in first-person mode. Oh, this is really crappy. I do not like... I do not like this at all. I can't see. I super can't see because this dumb mask. You know what? Um, I'll deal with surfacing before I'll deal with that. There we go. It's actually more clear without the mask. It's kind of weird. Uh, whoops. Okay. Yep, those are real. So the water's very murky today, which sucks, but that's okay. It's just making things a little harder for us. Now, I'm imagining that the Mosasaur has a very brutal bite. Uh, they can typically cleave whales in half with one bite. Uh, at least that's my understanding. Really, really brutal jaw. So, uh, we're gonna need... Oops, oops, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm coming. All right, where are we at? We're here. Oh man, I'm so not enjoying this episode. I hate the deep sea. It's the worst. Okay, well, suck it up. All right, let's go back down. I want to say it lets you see further, though. The mask. It's still blurry, but that's a shark. Oh wow, the light's really pretty down here. With the sunlight. Okay, um... Don't see anything too big moving. I see a couple sharks. Maybe I should score another kill and level up its speed. Actually, I think so. All right, let's kill a shark. God, that is so blurry. Why is it so blurry? Oh, there's multiple sharks. Can I kill you? Level 108. Okay, that's, that's a little above my... Oh, gosh, they're everywhere. Oh, I don't have the uh, selfie cam because of the setting. I, I forgot to fix that one. We're loading. We're loading in something. It could be... Something new. Gosh, I cannot see a thing. Is there any way to clear off your mask? Oh, wait. Should be able to take you out. Okay. So I'm able to take out that. That's like the shark. God, it's so blurry. It hurts my eyes to even look at. Oh, I need more levels. What is that? That is dolphins. Okay. Alright, so um, I'll spare you the hunt. I'm going to continue to explore underwater, and then whenever I find the Mosasaur, bring it back in to check it out and we'll take a look at it together so see you in a second guys and i literally turned around and right behind me i guess chasing me is a mosasaur um yeah right there oh it's like a giant lizard so oh, there's the edge of the map okay i can't see oh this is terrifying okay i can't i don't know i don't know if it comes up okay it's down there so i'm gonna leave my icky okay it's following me i guess that's okay oh there's a shark ah uh, bloody sharks all right, um, I'm going to leave my icky up here and just engage stuff on my own. 